Hey guys and girls, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how to install all the mods 7 fast and easy. Let's get started. And also make sure you watch this tutorial until the end because I'm going to teach you how to fix some problems that you might have while running all the mods 7. Your game might crash and you might be wondering how do I fix this? Don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Step number one to start this tutorial is to download CurseForge. Go ahead and click on the first link in the description which will bring you over here to this website where we're going to download CurseForge for Windows. Go ahead and click on this orange button right here and that is going to immediately start the download. As you can see on the bottom left, that is a file to install CurseForge. CurseForge is a launcher that is going to allow us to install many, many mod packs, including all the mod 7, Hourcraft, Pixelmon, any other mod packs we could install using CurseForge. Once the installer has downloaded, let's go ahead and drop it into the desktop. I mean, you could put it anywhere. I'm going to put it on the desktop for safekeeping. Go ahead and close this website and let's go ahead and launch CurseForge. And after you double click CurseForge, this is what the installer should look like. Let's go ahead and click next. It's going to ask you where you want to install it. Just leave it as default. Go ahead and click that you have read and accepted the terms click next and just click next again and just let it install it should be a pretty simple process once the installation has finished you might be presented with this website that means that it has installed successfully let's go ahead and close the website and we could go ahead and launch curseforge which is going to allow us to install the mod pack let's just wait for that to launch it might take a little while because it is the first time you're launching it so your computer needs to get used to it and set it up and all of that you know once curseforge has launched this is what you're going to be presented with go ahead and click skip intro because i'm going to teach you what to do just select the game that you want the mod pack for in this case it's obviously minecraft so let's go ahead and select minecraft and in here you shouldn't see any mods right in here you should see all of this should be empty you shouldn't see any mod pack so how do you add all the mods 7 go ahead and click on browse mod packs and in here you're gonna scroll down until you find it or you could just type on the top all right like this all the mods 7 click search and as we can see the first option to come up is all the mod 7 we have 1.18 and we have all the mod 6 for 1.16.5 but that is not what we care about right now we care about all the mods 7 let's go ahead and click install that is going to immediately start installing all the mods 7. Once all the mods 7 has been installed, as you can see right here, it says play. That means that we're able to play. Let's go ahead and click on that. And this should launch the Minecraft launcher. In my case, I'm already logged into the Minecraft launcher. But in your case, it's going to have you log in. Go ahead and put your Java logins and you should be able to click play and be able to play it. Now, here is where many of you are going to have an issue. For many of you, it's going to give you a Java error and it's not going to launch the game or it might launch it and it might crash while it's launching. That is because you need to install Java 18 for this to work because this mod pack is running on minecraft 1.18.2 we need to update our java instance in our computer how do you update java you might ask don't worry i got you go ahead and click on that second link in the description which will bring you over here to this website where you're going to be presented with this interface don't worry just scroll down until you see java 18 click on that and then select windows and go ahead and download x64 installer make sure you download the installer you don't want to download anything else just the installer click on this middle one right here this blue one and that should immediately start the download as you can see on the bottom left for java 18 that is needed for minecraft 1.18.2 to run any modded version of minecraft actually not just regular minecraft so let's go ahead and minimize everything and drop this installer into our desktop as you can see right there it is now once you drop that into the desktop you might not see the cop in there that is because you don't have a jar fix let's go ahead and download a jar fix real quick click on the third link in the description which will bring you over here to this website go ahead and select download and then go ahead and click on this blue thing right here that says jar fix.exe and that is going to immediately start the download for jar fix which is sometimes sometimes needed for the java 18's installation to work let's go ahead and drop the jar fix into the desktop we could go ahead and close all the websites we're going to run the jar fix go ahead and double click on it once you double click on the jar fix it's going to ask you for administrator's permission go ahead and allow it to run and then this is what you're gonna get which means that the jar fix has run go ahead and click ok and now you could even delete it let's go ahead and delete it and now we could finally install java 18 go ahead and double click on the java installer it should be called jdk 18 if you don't have it in your desktop you might find it in your downloads folder go ahead and click on it and then you're going to be presented with the installation sign for me it says that I already have it so i'm going to go ahead and click on yes to reinstall it just so you guys could see the process it doesn't matter i don't care i'm just doing this for the tutorial chances are you guys have java 8 which is what comes default with windows 10 but now we're updating it to java 18 and hopefully in the future windows does it by itself so you guys don't have to do it manually anyways let's go ahead and click on next next and let's just wait for this to install i'm going to go ahead and jump it to the end of the installation as we can see java 18 has installed successfully let's go ahead and close it and now we could launch our minecraft launcher again i mean we could go through curseforge click on 
play and that is going to open the minecraft launcher again and now we could finally try and launch all the mod 7 let's go ahead and click on play and understand the risks click on play again and let's just wait for that to run as we can see all the mods 7 has been successfully opened let's just wait for it to load we're in the mod pack already it might take a little bit to load because he has like 304 mods so that is normal for it to take long as you can see it works and yeah that is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and create a world just so you can see it's me and we're finally in the mod pack guys oh my god my computer is like lagging my computer is suffering right now anyways we're finally in the mod pack this is all the mod 7 i have heard really good things about this mod pack and i probably will try it in the future but this is for the tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial anyways that is it for today and as always bye bye